And last night, you hear all of the hard preaching, and you didn't even get the real thing. I, I watched it. Glory to God. What is it again? Reject? No, resist. Blind urges. Another day I explain it to you. Another day. Another day. It's, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. They say, come on. You can't, ha you can't handle it. You cannot handle it. You cannot handle it. That's why God brings confirmation. When one person can't handle something, he sends strength. Resist. Blind urges. It's right here. It's right here. Glory to God. But that wasn't the main thing. Still wasn't the main thing. <laughs> you want to hear the confirmation? Huh. One at a time, the preacher took up his Bible. <laughs> On the rush, almost two things a Bible and something else. And he took up his Bible and said, This is veto power. <laughs> I said, Take up your veto power. And some of you took up your phone. Don't take up. <laughs> Don't take up phone as Bible. Can you look a Bible? I'm not saying. Don't follow me and do have no phone. But have you look a Bible? You look a Bible somewhere in your bag or something. Say if you say take out your take out your Vita power, you take out your Bible. Say so walking around and say, Vito power, hold up your Vito power. <laughs> I mean, the preacher went up, but the other thing wasn't there. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, see where you should see. Uh, that's day gone. That's day gone. Wow. You see, you don't know, get it. <laughs> you don't know, get it. That's day gone went down. That's why I tell the preachers, if you, if you go, up, go up with your stuff to preach it, have a little Bible beside it. You know, the instruction, but I just cautioned. Hallelujah. Just walk with your Bible. Glory to God. His day gone went down. His day gone went down. His the virtual church went down. It's the metaverse church that they're trying to say. Meta, they call it metaverse church. If I read the news article here right now, where they, they, the metaverse church is designed to empty real buildings. Is there? I could read it for you. Oh, yes. It is set up to cancel the real church. Yes. So when everybody is in the metaverse church, as the preacher said earlier, they can pull the plug when they want. Here are you. It's the modern way. And you forget that they can pull the plug. If they pull the plug on the president of the, the greatest country in the world, who are you? Unwise preachers. I'm just trying to, 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 you know, not overdo it. Unwise preachers. Yes. They pull the plug on the president of the greatest country in the world. I say, you will no longer be on our platform. They are preaching, preaching, preaching. And you can't say what you need to say. Why did they pull the plug on him? Because they didn't want to hear what he had to say. And he's not even a preacher. So you can imagine you. As the preacher was preaching last night and talk about smooth preaching. Glory to God. So how are they going to allow you to preach against sin? Say you're raising up metaverse church. Or going to metaverse church. Or virtual church. Are you there? While you're in the church of a ministry, you go online because we got to use up. We got to go into the bar and preach. Are you there? We got to go into the lounge and preach. Are you there? You got to go everywhere and preach. But everywhere can become the church. Come on. Well, glory to God. Are you there? So what God was doing last night, you don't, you don't even understand. This was Dagon. Dagon couldn't stand. Remember, this is board floor. This is, this is board floor under here. But this is concrete. And the man of God wasn't walking up there. You were here. You were here. He wasn't even checking anything. He wasn't walking up there. He was walking down here. With Vita Power, look back on the video, and when he go back, he said, Dagon was on the floor. <laughs> my God, my God, my God. Yeah, I rebuke the metaverse church. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke it. Hallelujah. We will use the internet as long as we can, but we know they can't take it all. 
Because when it goes very hard here, they cancel it. They throw it off over and over. In the past, our videos, any little video we put up, is half a million views. Now it's down to a couple of hundred. They bury it. Because they contact us and say, you got to give all the details of your church. Even the very bylaws you must show. And we say, no, we're not going to do that. So they bury it. Are you there? And that's why you want to be church. A rebuke metaverse church. In the name of Jesus. And, and get a hold of this article. Is, some of it is online. This article, get a hold of it. And you will see what they plan to do. What they plan to do is to empty the churches. It's to close the churches. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm. The main need for physical buildings, Lunday say, was to provide content and community. The ability to access both content and community online has made traditional buildings irrelevant. That's what they want. We have to create an organization that is built for Web to World. Web, what, web, what, what, what is Web? Huh? Isn't that a trap? Even if traditional churches decide to retool their ministries, this man say there's no guarantee that they will survive. That's their plan. You are going to start to see a massive exodus from churches that think the old way. That think the old way. You see? Is this thing people running down and say they're skipping their church and staying home to the devil? Younger leaders are simply going to, going to move forward with the digital ministries and leave behind older church members. They don't even have any manners to say elderly members. Are you there? Are you there? I think that you are going to see, I think what you are going to see with younger leaders, they are not going to try to keep the old people. Come on, somebody. Didn't talk about being elderly friendly? Come on. Here's what they're telling the people now. Telling the people, the believers, take a step of faith and move out. And take ownership of your own spiritual maturity. This article I'm reading. Read it. The article I'm reading. Where they God? I rebuke them. We bring them down in the name of Jesus. We cross their actions in the name of Jesus. Brumbe kishaka bakata bakala bahanda. Shiba baba bahana makanda rabaha. We rebuke them, we rebuke them, we rebuke them, we rebuke them. We rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Another time we talk more about this. Because God revealed how it came to this. How could the body of Christ bow down like this? And just in case you think, uh, uh, we are speaking out of our head, let, 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 let me tell you the symptom. Then another time we tell you the answer. Glory to God. Rome, Romans 11, Romans 11. Romans 11, verse 10. He says, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see. And bow down their back always. This is the Bible said that. They bow down, they always mean that they, they continue. Because you can do wrong and ask God forgiveness. And come greater than who didn't do wrong. But he said, they bow down their back always, continually. Unrepentant. That's the Bible tell you. It tell you what you see happening. It tell you what has happened to the body of Christ. But the same Bible tells you how to get out of it. God bless you.